dead. The captain's dead. This is an emergency. Just had to ask for the emergency. There's a whole bunch of crap stuff. We have been knocked out of our ship. You just escaped from a maximum prison. So do we just keep him locked up forever? No, that'd be my choice. Is he really that dangerous? <laughs> Only around humans. What the bloody hell happened? Could have been a meteor storm. Might have been a rogue comet. There was talk of a scouting party looking for other people, but then we saw this. Classified. Physiology. Classified. Intelligence interview. Inmate 129, a.k.a. Cutter. Performed readings and awful eye augmentation surgery. Okay. 
indispensable. You gotta tell me. Is it true? There's a lot of rumors running around down there. I'm dying to know. That well, must be true. Why else would you be here? Evidence file 048 Charlie slash Alpha 19. Weapons confiscated. Classified. Level 3. Psychological restraint. Station Q9 slash T79. Richard Riddick psychological evaluation. Nine months prior to Hunter Gratzner incident. If you wish to return to the general population ever again, then you must comply with my every instruction to the letter. I am your last and only hope. Is that clear? Patient S621. Richard B. Riddick. Initial evaluation produced minimal yet fascinating data. Patient's extraordinary psychopathic tendency suggests that even at a subconscious level, the patient believes his reasons for killing his victims are valid. Even if his victims didn't always find validity in his reasoning. Jesus. You lost him again, didn't you? <laughs> smears on just inside the aft door. The preliminary tests show that the deep DNA is human. Human DNA is human. Hey, uh, what's up with the uh, people? What about? What's the deal with the light? I don't know. He keeps taking it out. He's just posing. Trying to get under his skin. Shine my eye. The first attempt at memory regression therapy was, as I anticipated, entirely unsuccessful. What's unique is that instead of drawing the typical response associated with severe superiority disorders, uh, uh, profanity, pornographic drawings, etc., etc., the patient drew in astonishing detail a schematic of the entire prison cell block, including what appears to be an escape route. Wanted to see me? Yes, I did. 
come to my attention, Mr. Kamal, that you've been operating two businesses out of this one fine establishment. First being a bar in which you keep your liquor license current. You recently extended your happy hour till 8 p.m. Sundays through Thursdays. Nice. But this, uh, this second business seems to be of a completely different nature. It seems you've been tinkering in drug trafficking, arms smuggling, software piracy, and, and well, as you can see here, it's a veritable smorgasbord of illegal activity. Piss off. The defiance lacks even the slightest hint of hesitation or uncertainty. Let me be frank with you, Mr. Kamal. I didn't come here to tamper with the secondary source of income. I could really care less. As long as I can count on your assistance, and I know I can. You see, I'm well aware of your reputation as a, how should I say, a breeder of well-trained bloodhounds, and it just so happens that at this moment, I'm in need of a good hunting dog. Try the pound. <laughs> yeah, well, seeing as I'm a, uh, a pacifist, I would really, really hate to have to kill you in self-defense. So why don't you do both of us a favor and just come out from behind the bar and point out which one of these mercs has the most sizable ball? That. And you are? Interesting. down your specs for me? Mind telling me why a cop is looking for a merc? I'm lonely. need somebody to talk to. I'm subcontracting. Been growing a little thin, short on staff lately, and uh, Tangiers is a very big system. Don't lie to me. What have you got there? What is that? Oh, nervous system acuity sensor. It's pretty neat. That's the smallest one I've ever seen. They're still illegal. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> Look, if I have reasons why I might want to hire you, well, those would be my reasons. And if I wish to tell you those reasons, well, that would be my prerogative as the employer. Is that understood? Patient S six two. My second attempt at intensive memory regression therapy produced better but entirely unsatisfactory results. I'm going to give you an injection of dithorazine and sodium pentothal. In ten minutes, your conscious mind will be incapacitated and I will have free and open access to your subconscious. Though I'm uncertain what these shapes represent, it seems the patient's act of volition was present at the time of their creation. If I'm right, and he has simply changed his tactics from defiance to mockery of this test and of this doctor, then he is somehow resistant to medication. It's like the reverse concept of force and power. How, if you take one guy of a group of a hundred and march him under the front, and for no apparent reason, shoot him in the back of the head, you've suddenly exercised power over the 99. Now, if they all tried to tie you at once, they could, but they don't, because they're afraid of this power that you've shown over this one man. And now the reverse. What happens if you can't control one tiny, insignificant man? There must be a lot of panic where you come from. Tell me that was you just now. What are you going on about? He's been right here, helping me. Back in the ship. That noise? You trying to tell me that was someone else?
these people anyway? Miners? I know, looks like geologists. You know, advanced team. Moves around from rock to rock. Nice of them to leave so much stuff here. ago, we received a mayday from the merchant vessel on our Gratzner. She was taking a back road to our system and she was knocked out of her shipping lane. The authorities assume she probably went down somewhere in this uncolonized for planet system here. What probably happened is she slammed into the ass end of an uncharted comet. No one really knows. So on a hunch... That the crisis program on this ship might have guided them to a planet with the most breathable oxygen, we deployed a search and rescue team to the second planet in the system. They eventually found the wreckage, but no one was found alive. Gunshot wound to the back of the cranium. But not everyone was found dead either. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. Right. That's very good. Not all the passengers were accounted for. Gag. So what is it? Uh, adrenaline enhancement or metabolism control? Metabolism control. Well, whatever floats your boat. Still, I think I'd probably miss the sweet burning sensation in my chest. Survival of the fittest. Yeah, whatever. My predecessor on this job was a man by the name of Johns. J-O-H-N-S. It's a good man. Relentless. He did things the old-fashioned way, you know, without the metabolism control. He once followed a bail jumper across three systems for two years. Seems awfully committed for a government employee. Meaning? Just that he doesn't need a subcontractor to do his work. <sighs> the pilot on the ship when it crashed was this woman. Fry. She'd been at it for about three years, but straight time, not cryo time. She just got in her commercial rating before they left port. And she was only clear to be a docking pilot. What was she doing at the helm? Well, we're not really sure. Can you imagine? One minute she's tucked away snug in her cryo locker. The next thing, bam. She's driving 100,000 tons of steel plummeting towards the ground at 800 miles an hour. This man, Paris B. Ogilvy, antiquities dealer, had quite a reputation for being able to dig up very rare artifacts. It's amazing how you can do without the necessities of life, provided you have the little luxuries. Yeah. Paris. Shaza, daughter of a tycoon with more money than God. She and her father had a pretty public falling out right before they left port. He was threatening to cut her out of his will if she didn't stop seeing this man, an aborigine named Zeke. She and Zeke were starting new lives as free settlers. This is all very touching, but what does it have to do with me? I think it's pretty important. I mean, you can never have too much information. And I'd like to have this done right. Then why don't you start by telling me who I'm looking for? Okay. 
Where the hell can I get eyes like that? It's really not that difficult. You simply light the cornea sight, drill into the eye gel, and then shoot a coat of reflector on the back of the retina. The eye is an amazingly resilient organ. Although in Rick's case, I'd like to take sole responsibility for such extraordinary weight. It really was his amazing composure. He refused anesthesia. He said the pain reminded him he was alive. He didn't so much as twitch an eyelash. Extraordinary. All I got was a couple of packs of cools. <laughs> a bargain, if you ask me. <laughs> Johns was transporting an escaped convict back to Slam City. A man by the name of Richard Riddick. Now, Riddick was just your run-of-the-mill murderer. Inmate test 621. You have the bullpen. One hour. <laughs> run of the mill, then why don't you go get him yourself? So like I said, I can think of a lot better ways to spend my time than being stuck out in the middle of a giant cat box looking for bones. You're not telling me everything. What am I not telling you? About Riddick. You can never have too much information. And I want to do this right. <laughs> right. You're very cute. Well... All I know is that he escaped from prison a couple times. Once from Ursa Luna, once from Slam City. It took Johns a while to get him. He got him. I told you Johns is a pit bull. Do you have his prison psyche bomb? I recommend that this patient be immediately transferred to the infirmary for electrochemical reduction of the frontal lobe. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty standard psychopathic behavior. It's not that real interesting, but you're more than welcome to review if you like. Did he do time in the pit in Slam City? <clears throat> yeah, sort of. The idiots actually lost him in Slam City. Yes, we checked the ventilation shaft. We checked the reactor room. We flushed the water pipes. I even searched the pit myself, sir. Nothing. Well, what did you think? It was bound to happen eventually. I mean, you throw us down in this pit. You deprive us of life, thinking we're all going to go mad, letting our imaginations run riot. But as you don't understand darkness, you underestimate his power to make us strong. Did he have his eyes shined? Yeah, as a matter of fact. With the daylight on his eyes like a welding torch, I really don't know what advantage that would be on a planet with three suns, do you? Let's go. 22 years ago. What? These coring samples are dated. Last one's 22 years ago this month. Okay, is there something special about that, Carolyn? I don't know. I could be... I suggest we kick on. That sand cat's solar. Johns! How much of the ship did the search and rescue team find? Less than half. The fry purge the boosters in the cargo hold and entered the atmosphere. She was probably trying to stabilize their descent. What else did they find? much.
Uh, the grave appears to be a traditional Muslim burial. It appears that it could be a... Oh. We've got severe last blast lacerations. <laughs> Side of blood smear inside the cargo hold, three rat bodies near an open grave, an abandoned geological settlement, and a recently reactivated moisture recovery machine. That's it. Is that everything? for electrochemical reduction of the frontal lobe required. Let's take it nice and easy. Guards will be advised to use extreme caution and authorized to use maximum force. I'm warning you, in two minutes you'll be pissing all over yourself wishing to God you got into that bag. Now get your ass out here! Come on, Shiner. Come on out. Show me those eyes. You'd have to come close. What'd you say? Gentlemen, I think we've just been unduly provoked. Careful. Look, their investigation was never completed, and all I have are a few bad transmissions from the surface. Oh, look, if we don't have time for that, the sandstorm is right on top of us. Get out of here now. <laughs> Damn it, we don't have time for that. You guys, you guys, you guys gotta get back here. These people were running from a, a from a Force 9 sandstorm, and they got buried alive before they could leave the planet. Then the crash site was buried as well? I assume. Where do you suggest I look for Riddick? He's adapted beyond your comprehension. The geological site would probably be a good place to start. We can sense your mood just by smelling your pheromones. Look... <clears throat> I never said it would be easy, that's why I'm paying you to find him. He can hear your blood coursing through your veins. What are you paying? Bounty's 20 grand live, 10 grand dead, 5,000 up front if you want the job. He can feel your presence within half a mile radius. You want the job? A man who escaped from Slam is clearly worth more than 25,000 credits. Yeah, well, let's double the rate going rate. That's all there is. That's it. Check my vital signs. Go ahead, give me a shot. Huh? Am I lying? <laughs> it's an easy 15 grand if you ask me. Because there ain't nothing gonna survive down there. Say that without increasing your blinks per minute ratio. I know you're lying. We know he has water. It looks like entire port head and uh, torso have been picked clean. I don't think that at this point we can we can rule out the possibility of cannibal. I don't think that at this point we can we can rule out the possibility of cannibal. The possibility of cannibal. The possibility of cannibal. The possibility of cannibal. So tell me what you're hiding. What am I hiding? Something that scares the piss out of you. The elapsed time of assault was approximately 18 seconds. Autopsy reports show that the lead guard was killed by a shotgun blast to the chest. Guard 2 was killed by a puncture wound through the ear into the brain cavity, caused most likely by a thumb or forefinger. Guard 3 died of a broken neck. Guard 4 died from crushed windpipe. The patient escaped along the exact route he had drawn on the prison schematic, which, for the record, I forwarded to the prison cell block. Yeah, we're all afraid of something, right? And more importantly, I have discovered that the patient's second drawing from regression therapy had potentially paranormal qualities. Now that the patient is lost, no further tests on this matter are possible. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? I know you're afraid of Riddick. You think he's alive and you know what he can do to you. I'll get it. I have to use girls. 
information. Hunter got some insurance. Chiroc Terra Insurance, agent for Hunter Gratzner claim. Connect. Danny Miller, claims department. Yes, are you handling the Hunter Gratzner claim? Uh, yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Can you tell me how much that policy was worth? Which one? There were two policies taken on the Hunter Gratzner. Two? Yes, ma'am. One by Alliance Shipping and another by Mr. Paris Ogilvy. How much was the second claim worth? $500,000. How much would it be worth to you if I were able to prove the Hunter Gretzner crash was not an act of God? That's not something I can discuss over the phone. This is a secure, untraceable line. Seeing as you could be out 500 grand just on the second policy alone, I would imagine that 250 would be a reasonable price. creature on this planet. I beg to differ. The most hunted? That would be Riddick. Before we commence with the torture or whatever it is that you have planned for me, let me ask you something. What exactly did you expect to gain from this? Huh? While you were napping, I had the pleasure of scanning through your files. I'm a hunter Gratzner. In addition to discovering what a pack rat you are, great deal of information that you were planning to withhold from me. An intelligence interview from the doctor who shined Riddick's eyes. A transmission from the rescue team detailing how one of the bodies appeared to have been consumed. Maybe I didn't want to scare you away. Do I look like someone who scares easy? Yeah, not from here. I want, but you're still hiding from me. Well, that's the question of the day, isn't it? What am I hiding from you? What am I hiding from you? I really don't think you're in the right position to be playing games with me. I have an idea. Why don't you just kiss my ass? You're not going anywhere until I get what I want. Look, I gave you the disc. Now just get me down and forget about the whole thing. This 
Better be the coordinates to where Fry dumped Paris's cargo. I swear to God, I'll hunt you down. What? Coordinates? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Do you really think I'm that stupid? To take care of Ritty for you, no questions asked. So you can scamper back to the planet, dig up half a million in loot. <laughs> I really didn't think you were that stupid, but you are far more stupid than I ever imagined possible. You have no idea what's going on here, do you? No clue. What is on this disc? What's on the disc? You want to know? You want me to tell you? so bad. You really think that all that cyber techno crap is gonna make you immortal or something, don't you? Well, guess again, baby. Guess again. Come here. Come here. What good do you really think that all that garbage is gonna do you when you come face to face? That thing that killed those people down there. You gonna be a big bad mother then? Stop. 
behind me. Stop behind me.